hands together for the founder of Toroto, Santiago Espinosa de los Monteros. Hello everyone, my name is Santiago and I'm very happy to be here. We started Toroto as a family when we, are, when we realized that the climate crisis is a territorial problem. Land needs to be restored, conserved, or sustainably managed if we are going to use the Earth's ability to fight the climate crisis alongside us. But there are several problems for this to be done at a scalable way. First, there is a general lack of transparency into climate action projects all over the world, with limit, which limits corporations' abilities to actually bring out the big investments. Also, governance at the field level is generally very weak which hinders the project's capacity to actually be permanent over the next 30 to 100 years, which is exactly what we need them to last. And finally, there is just not enough capex at the field level for climate action to be scalable. If we want to restore 10,000 hectares, we need to be able to produce 20 million trees, and this is just a huge challenge. More dramatically, today, out of every dollar that companies pay to invest in climate action through things such as climate credits or others, from five to 30% actually is used to pay for climate action at the field level. The rest finances a super long chain of consultants, brokers, and other kinds of intermediaries who do not bring real value into the climate action itself. The solution is of course, a lot of integration and a lot more hard work. We first identify and partner with landowners where we can do restoration, reforestation, water infiltration or regenerative agriculture activities. We then register and certify these projects inside international climate markets that bring robustness and transparency to everything that our partners do. But more importantly, maybe, we develop an in-house additional layer of transparency where we leverage the highest uh, existing technologies such as geographical information systems and the blockchain. Now, what are we doing for a company like ABI? In a high water stress region, such as Apan in Mexico, we are working with landowners one hour in every direction of their brewery to make sure water never runs out from this watershed. This means doing revegetation activities using plants that we take care of ourselves from their genetic origins, to also doing carefully placed water and soil enhancement works that are going to increase the ecosystem's capacity to infiltrate water and remove carbon from the atmosphere. The particular project we wanted to talk to you about is an agriculture, a regenerative agricultural pilot that we are implementing. Why? Because AB InBev has made a very serious commitment. 100% carbon neutrality across, across its supply chain by 2040. The number three source of emissions for them is agriculture, and almost half of that comes from barley. So we have done a 30 hectare pilot where we're doing crop rotation, cover crops, heavily reducing heavy machinery to phase out diesel, and also completely substituting chemical fertilizers by their organic kind, locally produced organic kind. This is of course, reducing the overall amount of greenhouse gas emissions that go into the atmosphere. And we're talking nitrous oxides and methane, as well as CO2, and also increases the general ability of soil to sequester carbon. The future potential for this work, even in one of the breweries is amazing. Here we could scale up to 70,000 hectares of barley production yearly sequestering over 100,000 tons of CO2 equivalent, again, one brewery, which is more than the total direct emissions of this brewery, which is the second largest in the country. Corona and Stella are both produced here. Now, something we like a lot from this project is that it's much more than carbon offsetting. It's carbon insetting, which is about taking that money and investing it inside your supply chain to meet your climate targets which is doubly more important in a decade where supply chain issues are poised to be the number one challenge for CEOs and CFOs and COOs worldwide. Now, the results have blown our mind. Farmers got 103% more profitability from 2021 to 2022, removing some of the financial barriers that exist for the adoption of these techniques all over the world. We are very excited to expand these projects throughout AB InBev's supply chain, and also, of course, looking for more opportunities to expand throughout the most important supply chains in the world, some of which are represented in this room. Thanks a lot for your time. <laughs>